My name is Greg Vieira and I am a customer success team lead here at Condo Control Central. On today's video, we'll be talking about the budget mail out merge feature. This feature has helped many of our clients succeed within their budget mail out merge that they have to send once a year to the unit owners. On today's video, we'll walk you through on some of the neat functionalities that will assist you when your budget mail out is uh, ready to be sent. And third, we'll show you the unit owner's point of view once they receive their, their email on their email inbox. So let's get right into it. So first of all, this feature is free across all four packages in Condo Control Central. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click announcements on the left-hand side menu. Once you're on the announcement page, you're gonna click create new announcement on the top right, and then you're gonna click budget mail out uh, icon. On this page, you will enter the name of your announcement, and then you're gonna download our initial budget mail out template. This budget mail out template is a very simple template that gives you uh, two columns. One is your unit number column, and second is your monthly common element fee related to the units. Now, this information is something that you need to get from your head office, most likely your accounting uh, head office. And all you need to do is you need to copy that information and then you need to paste on the section. So on my example, I'm gonna throw a few random numbers in here. And then once you're satisfied with the information that you have on your screen, you're gonna save this information on your desktop. Now, the next step is you're gonna choose a file and you're gonna choose that file from your desktop. And then you're gonna enter the last unit on the file to validate that it's the unit accordingly to the unit file. So in my case is unit 701. Then you're gonna choose the effective date on when this is gonna be affected based on your budget, uh, based on your fiscal year. So for example, I'm gonna choose August 1st and then you're gonna hit next. Now, if you've done those steps correctly, you're gonna come to this page. If you do not get to see this page, that means something is corrupted with your Excel spreadsheet that you have to work on. Now, this page is a review page that you will review the monthly amount associated to the unit. So usually what we recommend is for you to refer back to your original document that came from that office and check a few units to make sure that the amount matches them accordingly. So for example, I'm gonna choose 402 and I have $700. I'm gonna choose 701 and I have $1,100. Once you're satisfied with the information on this page, you're gonna click next. The next screen is where the actually mail merge happens. So first you're gonna choose your audience for this merge. So for example, in my case is the owners and I have about four unit owners that's gonna receive this email. Uh, the next options that you wanna do is you wanna review our initial template that we have written on behalf of our clients. Um, however, if you do not want to use this template, you can kind of follow your own template. Typically, our clients will use um, a letter which is written by the board of directors and it's on a word format. You're more than welcome to use that. Just keep in mind that you wanna keep this short and simple. So if that letter is two, three, four pages long, you want to cut it down to at least one page and then you can then attach that letter to refer back to your existing um, written information on the body of your email. So for example, let's say I was not satisfied with this letter here. I can copy this whole information. I can delete it and then I can start it from scratch. Now I'm going to be using this template um, and then I'm going to be modifying a few things within my template. So for example, there's a few things here that has X where you are to input the information within those X. So the enclosed budget has been approved by board directors off. I'm going to enter sample condo. Increase, decrease in this case is going to increase. The monthly common fee and increase off, let's say, you know, 10% per month for the fiscal year ending, the end date you automatically pulls based on the previous page that you have selected. Uh, the middle part here, you have your monthly common fee for units. So this is gonna be translated to the unit based on that Excel spreadsheet that you have uploaded. And then the start date to the end date will refer back to where you chose your fiscal year and your end of your fiscal year. And then the last part is the monthly fee, which is the dollar amount that you have input on that Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the board has Carefully consider, so this part here, we're gonna delete all the way here. 
ending in let's say 2018. Uh, let's say, you know, zero, zero, zero. So once you're satisfied with the information, then your letter, your, your mail merge letter is ready to go. However, let's say you wanted to include a few things in here. You wanted to include the unit number. So in this case, you know, you have the left-hand side menu that you can drag and drag and drop the fields that you would like to put in here. So for example, if I want the unit number under here, so I can put it in there. And then what's going to happen is it's going to pull up the unit number related to the unit based on the unit file details that you have in Condo Control Central. If you don't want that in here, you just want to leave that blank. And next step is you want to choose an expiration date, just like an expiration date when you put a regular announcement. So for example, if my budget's ending or starting, let's say August 1st, I want to put an ending date to the end of August. So let's do August 31st. Attach files, you can attach as many files as you want. Um, as long as it's max of 25 megabytes per file. And just keep in mind, this is the generic files that everybody in the building, meaning your unit owners, which is the audience for this budget mail out, is gonna receive on their emails. So I'm gonna attach it. Let's attach all those files in here. And then last but not least, you're gonna agree that this is not a commercial activity and then you're gonna click post announcement. Then the system is gonna take a few minutes to generate this notice. And then once it's generated, it's gonna send it to all the um, recipients they have selected as a, as a you know now the other benefit for this feature uh, is you get to also print paper copies for the units that have not yet provided you consent so if you track any consent within the system this feature is integrated within that feature where you can save money on uh, mailing printing and postage or if you're not using consent you can have the system generate a paper copy for everybody that lives in the building uh, so two ways to do this you can click generate letters uh, which the system is gonna generate a letter for you on a PDF format and the letter will look something like this or you can click download template and it's gonna open a Word document which will have um, the information on the bracket just like how you had it on the body and within this information you can edit it and add any additional information to match exact letter that you had in Condo Control Central. Once you're satisfied with the information you're gonna save this uh, in your desktop and then you're going to re-upload it into Condo Control Central by using this option. Uh, the second option that we have for this feature is printing envelopes. So if I click next, it gives you the ability for you to print envelopes so that you can then fold the paper that you're going to be mailing out to the unit owners that have not yet give consent to the corporation. So we have two types of envelope. We have a 10 a by 10 and then a 9 by 12 envelope. So for example, if I choose a, a by 10 envelope, I click generate envelopes and it's going to give you the envelope with the where it's coming from. So this is my building address and this is the unknown address where, where, where it's going to go to. Um, and then the second option is the 9 by 12 envelope. So if you click on download the envelope, this is the bigger in the envelope that gives you as well. And if you want to add your logo to your envelope, uh, all you need to do is you can click download template, which is the envelope. It's going to give you a Word document and within this Word document, you can enable editing and then you can add your logo in it. Uh, so that's pretty much the budget mail out merge feature as a property managed point of view. So now the other thing is um, I'm going to show you uh, the email that the unit owner receives. So I'm going to choose a uh, unit owner that I have sent in here and I'm going to go to my inbox. And this is my inbox on my Gmail account. And this is what the announcement looks like. So keep in mind, my unit is 501. So it tells me, you know, your monthly element fee for unit 501 is, you know, between August 1st to July 2021 is 900. If I click here to view the announcement, it's going to open a, a page where I can review all my attachments as well as the original notice in here. So that's how the feature works. It's something very straightforward that we have built and we have a system many of our clients are using. So if you want to take advantage of this feature, whether or not your budget, um, your fiscal is approaching and you need this to send uh, through a system, which is very user friendly, don't hesitate to contact us here at Condo Control Central. Again, my name is Greg. I'm a customer success team lead here at Condo Control Central.